So I asked God what I should talk about this week. And he said me. For a moment, I was kind of like, does he mean me like Chelsea or does he mean me like him? But then I was like, duh, they the same thing because the only way I can speak about God truthfully and impactfully is by speaking about my experiences with him. And this past week, me and God was the biggest part of it, like the biggest focus. But it was also the last thing that I wanted to talk about, <laughs> especially on my Instagram page. But, um, I mean, it's me, you know what I'm saying? I'm just still going through it, so that's why I didn't really want to speak about it. But it's nothing major. It is something impactful, though. And, um... So basically, I have, by the blessing of God, it's like I have a problem-solving filter on my eyes and on my mind. As soon as I come across something, I know exactly what to do to resolve it. In recent years, the feelings of other people the wants of other people has caused me to delay the problem solving process. Now, this change was intentional because I don't know, for most of my life I've always been told that, you know, oh, I'm mean, I'm cutthroat, you know, things like that. So, I figure like, okay, maybe I should give people more room to be fuck-ups around me, you know? Now, granted, I'm not going to say that, um, you know, there didn't need to be a change, but I didn't ask God what change should be made. I just chose what I thought needed to be changed. And so that's how I got there. And what I realized is that when you do stuff like that, you actually end up caring about other people's problem more than they care about it. You end up caring about the outcome of people's lives more than they care about it, which will not do anything except leave you dormant because you set out on a mission that actually has no purpose. So you think you're doing something, but you're not because the person that you think is supposed to be participating in making their life better actually enjoys the place that they are. <laughs> and I think that people who are good hearted and just feel like no, it's good in everybody like and people who realize like everybody has the potential to be their best the hardest thing for us to do is to write people off as what they are it's hard to say like a person is just a piece of shit and won't be anything more than that like even now like that I know it it's like Okay, but it's going to be some point in his life where he is going to decide to be better. Like, it's going to be some point in their life when they realize, oh, they're crazy. And, you know, da 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 Like, it don't matter. Like, I could, I mean, it could really be somebody trashy. And I just feel like, yeah, like, they're shit now. But 
wait until i mean shit even if it's when they're 60 they're going to become a better person you know what i'm saying so i feel like i should speak to that side of them but that's the thing just speak to it and like that's it never make it your mission ever because you can't do it without them And while you can see potential, sometimes it really is just only potential. Because you'll be thinking, oh, okay, it might happen when they 60 or something like that. But you won't even be around, so that don't even matter to you. And then if you don't treat a person like what they are, they're not going to change. It's, it's very rare that you can put something, like, for example, it's very rare that you can take an untrustworthy person and say, nah, man, like, I know he can be better. I'm going to put some stuff in his hands and give my trust to him so that he can you know, I don't know what, like the way it feels and decides to be trustworthy. Like, hell no. The untrustworthy person is just going to see you as a lick every time. But when you say, nah, this nigga untrustworthy, he this, he that, he flip-flop, like, we not going to have him around, da 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 If everybody treated the rats and the untrustworthy people like that, they wouldn't have they wouldn't have no choice but to change. Cause they'd be damn near banned from society. Then they would change. So this narrative that like you supposed to roll with people that you whose spirits you don't agree with in order to change them. That shit only favors the unrighteous it, and it's not supposed to be like that it might have been a time where unrighteous people needed grace because they had to experience the righteous and see the difference but that has a limit on it. And it and it's become a group way of thinking which has really damaged the world and the psyche of people. And at this point, like the line has to be drawn. It has to be drawn so that a difference can be made. Because if all the good people are caught up with trying to drag along the people who enjoy the negative, then who is curating the positive? So that's what God has um, been dealing with me about just finally being okay with leaving people behind, being okay with saying that certain people aren't good enough to be around me, aren't good enough to be in my space, aren't good enough to be able to have my time.
And I can't say that he's wrong for it. Because I know from he let me try it my way. And I know from experience, when you sit around people that you're better than, you either become like them or you become their object of frustration. You end up being the know-it-all. You end up being Miss Perfect. I legit had an ex-boyfriend tell me one time, oh, you think you're just so perfect. And at the time, y'all, I swear on everything, at the time, I was telling him something to help calm him down. Like, he was upset and I was helping him. And then he says to me, you think you're just so perfect. Y'all, I left that man so fast. <laughs> but, I mean, I've experienced it all my life with females, too. You can only be the voice of God to certain people so long before... Like I said, they start feeling like, why does she know this and I don't? Why is it so easy for her and it's not for me? Or you yourself get tired and decide to just go with the flow, which only ends up making you more like them instead of you progressing in the ways that you're supposed to progress. And, um, shit, even more than in relationships and with friends, like, I've, I've experienced it with family as well. You just, you can't be If a person doesn't want to elevate and you're constantly around them with positivity, you're going to become an enemy to them. They either going to see you as a lick, an enemy, or an obstacle. And even in the craziest of craziest, you'll become a curse in their eyes. So, not even just in my life, but worldwide, like the line has to be drawn. We have to start writing people off as what they are so that the people that are God-like can group together and do what God has for us to do.